Hello, this is Sandeep and now we'll see fifth experiment in compiler lab. Fifth experiment is a simulation of a DFA. Our aim is to uh, simulate the concept of deterministic finite automata and in this we'll be given with a DFA transaction transition table and using that table we have to give the input and the and also the desired input string and if it uh, successfully completes the DFA tr transmission then it should show the output as yes or else no so this is the code for the DFA and here uh, we have used uh, two classes like compiler phi and DFA table and in DFA table we have given scanner DFA equal to new scanner and get states so there will be two scanners like DFA and get states and also uh, it should take the number of DFA states from the user and it stores the number of PSD stores in the get states dot next int and this will be incremented by one and after that DFA table will be in equated to new character of number of states and in this uh, there is a uh, there are two for loops in which int i equal to 0 and it goes to the uh, to less than number of states and it will be incremented and after that i equal to 0 to less than 3 and j will be incremented here and for this dfa table there will be a initial state uh, initial initial state function in which uh, the return return will be dfa table of 1 0 that is the matrix 1 0 so that it returns the dfa and after that we have we have one more thing called next state so it should also calculate the next state and it contains the uh, current state and current character so both are in character uh, data types and after this we have a for loop where int i equal to 0 uh, it goes till the number of states and it will be incremented and uh, if current state is equal to dfa table of i i comma 0 and if current character equal to dfa table of 0 1 then it should return the table of i and 1 so it will uh, it, it, uh, it will check every time the dfa table with the current state and the current character and it will re uh, return the current dfa table <coughs> and in the <coughs> compiler class compiler pi class we have uh, all uh, something called algorithm and in this algorithm we will give all the <coughs> Uh, current states and input strings uh, so we are current state equal to dfa dot initial state so we have a dfa class from that class the initial state is taken and it is initiated to current state and current character also should be taken so the current character will be dependent on the uh, input string which we have which we give and while current character is not uh, not equal to dollar that is dollar comes only when it is in the final state and if it is not equal to dollar then the current state should be move of current state comma current character so it should move one character or uh, move to the next character so that it will check the input uh, if the input is correct or not and if and there is one more function like next cap so this will check the uh, next character and here we have a if uh, if line character array is equal to null or line array character count is equal to line array character of length then it should return a dollar that is if it is in the end state it should return the dollar else it should be uh, incremented and then we also have a move function in this move we have current state and the current character and it will be returning dfa dot next state so in the next state uh, the things we need are state and the character and using these things it will move the next uh, to the next state and we also have final state uh, checker and it will check for the final state and if everything is uh, equated to current state then it will be returning yes or else it will return no now for the question given here uh, this is the dfa table and to implement this dfa table in our program uh, we have to first give the number of uh, states number of dfa states so we have here a b c d so i have given here number of states as 4 4 
and the states are A, B, C, D and after that uh, here we have uh, two things like small a and small b. Uh, after this each state when A on A it goes to B capital B and when A on B it goes to capital A. So each thing we have to check and we have to give in the input and after that uh, the desired input should be given. Here I gave the desired input as AABB. So according to this TFA table the AABB will be accepted. So in the program when I execute uh, it shows yes. So So after giving the input it shows yes. So the desired input is uh, correct according to the DFA table given in the question. Thank you.